Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Sunny, your host, and this is going to be the fifth video of our OpenAI DALI API playlist. So in the last video, we started creating a multi-page app using Streamlit. We also took a help of Bing Chat so that we can create a boilerplate for our project. So we will continue and we will add on our second page, which is going to be about text to image generation. So in our first experiment, we, uh, which, which we did in our Jupyter notebook, so we will borrow some code from there and we will add it as a backend for our Streamlit app. And in this case as well, we will take help of ChatGPT to create a boilerplate code for us and then we will rectify it as per our own need so let's dive in and start building it so i hope you guys are excited to build this uh, streamlit app so uh, now uh, we are at the entry point okay we have created that so let's go to the text to image part uh, where we are going to work on this that is your page number two right so here in the text to image as you all know that in image generation we need the text input so that is uh, text prompt is required and if you can recall the uh, let me go back to this our uh, code part so if i go to the notebook section okay so text to image first part so if i just look into this uh, the so just observe here so here uh, we need the uh, prompt we need the number of uh, things uh, like like number of variations that you want to generate or the images and then uh, the size of it so these three inputs are required right inputs major inputs and um, so what we can do is we can take this um, let's give the prompt this prompt to our chat gpt or bing chat and let's see that okay what it helps okay so i will uh, go back to this uh, bing ai and let me refresh this and we will go to the chat section again we'll go to the precise one and i will say that so create a streamlit app which can create a streamlit app that has a form form element and the form contains text prompt for uh, image generation then it contains the uh, a select box to select size of the images among now what we can do we can simply copy paste from the uh, either you can go to the documentation or you can see that here i have already mentioned that it it gives you these options right so i will just simply mention it here these pixels and uh, these are the pixel values and number of image to be generated and a submit button so let's say i think this should be enough let's see uh, because this is the input that we need okay after submit button obviously we have to uh, like apply the same method that is uh, image dot create and we can do our rest of the time things so let's see what it does so it's uh, okay it's generating it seems absolutely fine and uh, number of images then it has the okay so this seems to me uh, it's okay and uh, let me i think let's see if it copies like this sometime it gives issue okay so let's go back to the code part and uh, so where we are going to write the code we are going to write the code into page number one we are already using it uh, we have used it let's go to the page number two so in page number two again it's about image generation so below that i can paste it streamlit i have already imported it and uh, here uh, we can say get rid of that title that is not required form is absolutely fine these inputs are okay okay and um, it seems okay right as of now so let's go back to the uh, app it's still running at the back end so i will just simply rerun it so you can see that when i am at the text to image and if i uh, prompt any text let's say any text uh, you can select the sizes you can see uh, and then you can select the okay so uh, here it goes to the maximum numbers right so i want i doesn't want this to be uh, like to the infinity okay it can go to as long as us as uh, so uh, what i will do is i will ask that i will again copy paste the same thing and i will say that uh, number of images to be generated and let's say in bracket i can mention that it should be select box with the value one two three four only okay so let's again if i try to run it so it will uh, do the same thing so what i can do is instead of waiting for it i will simply go back again here so you can see that it has already accepted here right as this is uh so instead of so what i will do is instead of uh, using as a number input i will say that go for a select box and uh, what i will do is i will provide here these one two three four okay and if i again go back to my app so you should see that go to the text to image and uh, 
something is there to fix and it is again it's a select box so if i submit so it says that submitted the text size this number of images is two so that means it works fine as of now right so what i have to do is i have to use the after this okay so let's go back let's go back and instead of writing these in responses i uh, i will say that if okay if we have entered the prompt because the rest of the things are uh, like it, it's a select box okay so obviously there has to be some value there will be some value even if you don't select it but prompt has to be entered so if prompt and uh, also here the prompt is actually it is being passed as this text so let me change that to prompt because this is more appropriate here and i will say now if the prompt is there so i will now start generating my images so for that i will take the same code from our notebook let me go back to this and uh, this right so i will simply copy this code and i will go to the page number two and i will mention that okay this is my response okay so uh, now you can see that one thing that um, uh, open ai is not imported so let's import that import open ai okay so this should not be an issue and uh, n value right so n is nothing but number of images so i can simply copy this here and paste it here so that number of images can be used uh, size it is defined here 512 512 so i will replace it with the size variable so that i can use that it can become dynamic right now now i have got the response and now i have to get the urls okay so i will simply do one thing so for index in range range what range a number of images and here i will extract the image url okay so for that i think i already have a code here so let me copy that image url so we have this image url right now and now what i will do is i will display these images okay and let's display these images by using st.image and it can accept st.image actually accept the url also okay so uh, i should pass that url image url and we can provide a caption also so captions should be is equals to let's say um, we can call it as a generated image image and uh, we can mention here that okay which image so it's index plus one Okay, so it's uh, it will keep on uh, creating a different caption for each of the images and uh, now after that we can mention that okay use the column width use column width is equals to true so that the image will not look like um, it will be of smaller and larger size so that it will not look mismatched it will be using the entire column width so in this way we have the this is ready right but let's let's try to run it and let's see what we get so if i go to this and if i again uh, refresh this and if i mention something let's say this uh, photorealistic image of a goldfish in a fish bowl and the size will remain same and let's say submit so uh, let's see if it works so you can see it is generating images it's not a photorealistic but it's good right so that image is absolutely correct now uh, one thing you should do here is that when you're running the main.py so i you should import the open ai here also and also you should import from dot n import load environment and then you should also load the environment and uh, you can just borrow this uh, code from here that i should have these they should be present into the main dot py right otherwise you may get error okay and also you should import operating system so import os so that you will not get an any issue with the api key otherwise uh, you will get an issue like that okay so this if you if you can just see the uh, outcome here so if i go to the it seems like okay let's rerun this and then go to the text to image so you can see that now if i uh, prompted anything let's say if i prompt something maybe i have already saved it somewhere so let's cute bunny and grumpy bear holding hands drawing watercolor love like i have given some bunch of text 512 512 let's choose an image four images and let's see the outcome so you will see that yeah it's generating images uh, and it's quite okay you can see and uh, as per the like if you ask for an artistic image i think it can generate so you can see i asked for the watercolor image it's quite good right the images and if you want to save any image if you liked it so you can just simply right click and then save images and you can save these images right so this completes the tutorial for the uh, this uh, streamly tab where we have added the image generation page okay so now in the next tutorial we are going to go for image variation okay so i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and uh, now you will start using the chat gpt or bing ai if you are not using it yet okay that can help you to at least get started faster right so see you all in the next session till then keep on learning keep on exploring thank you